love shall be healed. This love shall be healed. This love shall be healed. This love shall be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. There were about 450 prophets of Baal in the days of Ahab and Elijah. But it was just Elijah and his servant. Hallelujah. That won the battle. <laughs> Hallelujah. 450 prophets of Baal and they're up to 800. But John Elijah yes. and his servants yes. stood yes. And in the place of contest. Yes. And finally, El Shaddai answered the word he sent. <laughs> he frustrated the powers of Baal. Frustrated the powers of Baal and his prophets. The Lord did not send us to London for a joke. We did not leave me in case to come down here because we want to come here. We come here because the Lord said, go down to London. And I will show you a sign that I have sent you. Not once, not twice, not three times, not four times do we see that sign. In one of the meetings where we are still blowing the trumpet, thunder and lightning hit the building. Hallelujah. That's how he answered Elijah by fire. Amen. He answered us. And we know he's here with us. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. So you are all welcome to El Shaddai's trumpet called prayer mission. Presented by the Springs of Life Giving Water Ministries, the dwelling place of El Shaddai, where tears are wiped away from every eyes. We've come for the healing of the land, to gather the saints, the remnants, for this end time work. And I want to appreciate everybody here, and those who are still on the way, and those who have some other um, engagements that they send their um, message across to be permitted that they couldn't be here. I say thank God for their life. They are representing us wherever they are. And um, Pastor Joe traveled with his group. Many of them, they send their message across. So we are all welcome in the name of Yeshua the Messiah, the coming King. He is coming very soon. And the day he will appear, there will be thunder, there will be lightning, there will be earthquake, there will be sound of the shofar, the sound of the trumpet. And the unbelieving and the wicked will be running for cover. But there's a message for them. There is time now for them to repent. Because that day they want the mountain to fall upon them. But the mountain will also be running for cover. Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> the mountain will also be running for cover. Yes. Amen. Amen. They will ask death to kill them. By then, death has lost his power. Amen. Because those that were dead will be coming out of the grave. Amen. Death has lost his power. Amen. And those that were alive in Christ, we shall be caught up in the clouds of the heavens. I will look up to the heavens from whence I have come. I have come from great Adonai, who created the heaven and the earth. Brothers and sisters, the time is now. Amen. As I call my dear um, brother, Hallelujah. Can you come and come and lead us in prayer? Yes. Come and lead us in prayer for, for, for five minutes. If you have to sing, you sing. Hallelujah. If you have to dance, you dance. 
Whatever you want to do in that five minutes, do it. And then afterwards, I'll call my dear sister, uh, Minister Andy, to come and lead us in praise and worship. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. And uh, immediately after the praise and worship, we go into the prophetic. Glory be to great God Shaddai. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We have um, <laughs> Hallelujah! Amen, amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to call my brother Eke as well to assist me here. <laughs> No assistant this time. Brother, I can't use my use my Dad, give me a back <laughs> to sing this song, um, um, Love Ya, and um, for, some, for a lot of people, they might find that to be easy to say, I mean, for a lot of people, they find it to say, love, you need to love God, it's, yeah, yeah, I love God, but what does it truly mean to love Adonai, uh, I wonder where he, what's to call his name, Elohim, El Shaddai, um, Abba Father, Say that I, I love you, and, and not just say I love you, but I, say I love you forever, and I, I want you to help me to love you forever. Um, so, uh, as we've gathered here this this afternoon, we can just obviously think about our love for Him, and just to reflect. So how we can experience more of his love. Because the more we experience his love, the more we're able to, to stand strong in his promises and to also to love others. Because he said in his words, to love our neighbors. How can we love our neighbors as we love ourselves if we don't understand the depths of his love? And even just today, Brother Eke just spoke this one at the, we had a men's breakfast meeting this morning and it, and it just this very striking word nothing can separate us from the love of Christ nothing yeah. and I think that's so amazing and the word of God actually nothing can separate us from love um, love of Christ um, nothing Paul says as in his, in, his, in his epistle to the Romans so this afternoon I don't know each and every person, as, as one of the sisters is getting baptized tomorrow, she says, get, get, get baptized tomorrow. I don't know what your situation is this afternoon, uh, brothers and sisters, even 
a brother on the piano. I know I, I saw you play a few months ago, but um, I don't know what your situation is this afternoon. I've got my own personal request. I've got my own um, prayers that I've been seeking the Lord's wisdom and His intervention. I don't know what your situation is this, this afternoon, um, beloved brothers and sisters. So I would just say that as you look to commune with the Lord today, as you look to call on His name, and as you look to um, to seek His face, to seek His glory, His power, um, Paul the Apostle says, I press towards the mark of the price, uh, for the price of the of the call. So, press on. Amen. Stay strong in faith. Amen. Know that nothing can separate you from the love of God. So should we just say the Lord's Prayer together? As, as you know it in your own words, the Lord's Prayer, the prayer that the Lord Jesus told his disciples to pray. Just say together, Our Father, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trust us against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So, um, if you could just hold someone next to you right now, I know, brother, on the piano, you, you know, but um, if you could find someone to just hold onto right now, prayer. Hold someone next to you, and I'm going to join the prayer to watch you discuss. Where two or three are gathered in my name, I am their own spirit. So we're going to believe that as we gather here this afternoon, we need to forgive us. So we believe that He is going to reveal Himself to us. Put in our hearts and our spirit, because we are one with Him. And I'm uh, just going to join hands and pray. So like I said earlier on, I don't know what your situation is this, this afternoon, beloved brothers and sisters. And I say beloved because that's what God is saying to us. Nevertheless, that we are his beloved. Um, we, we can just trust in him. He, his word says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not in your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct you back. Amen. So uh, this afternoon, let, let's, um, let's just turn to him. What the God also says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, uh, endured the cross, despised the shame, and set him down. So our Father God, we love you, because you first loved us. So we we'll turn to you this afternoon, knowing that you are able to do exceeding abundantly and above all we could ever ask or finish, according to the power of what's within us, um, which is our faith in you. So we trust in you this afternoon, Lord, to reveal yourself to us as we worship you in spirit and in truth, as we um, remember your promises, as we um, lift up our hearts to you. One of us has cast a burden to the Lord, for He, um, he will sustain. He will not let the righteous be removed. Cast all your cares on Him, for He cares for you. The Lord Jesus even said Himself, "Come unto Me, all you that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest." Take My yoke upon you and learn of Me, and I am meek and lowly in heart, and you find rest for your souls. For My yoke is easy, and My burden is light. Oh, Lord, we give you thanks. You deserve all the glory, all the yes. honor, all the praise, all the worship, all the majesty. Yeah, we, yes, we live in the United Kingdom where you have the House of Lords. And I say this many times, House of Lords. But you are the Lord of Lords. You are the King of Kings. We might have a King in the United Kingdom, I don't know. But you are the King of Kings. So we, we trust in you, Lord, for this future, for what, um, to come as, as a... 
as the Apostle um, Mecca said about um, the, 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 the come end time. Lord, we want to be those who would um, actually speak, proclaim your word to every person, to every soul. That, that, in fact, everyone, everyone needs to hear the gospel, actually. So, Lord, we want to be the ones who will, who will see people turn to you. Lord, we want to be so in we want to respond to your great commission to make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, um, knowing, Lord God, that you would indeed um, pour out your spirit, that they will be born again, that they will be saved. And that's, that's, a, that's the great commission um, in the sense of Lord. So, Lord, as we gather this, this afternoon, fill us afresh, fill us anew with your love, with your joy, with your peace. Think about the fruit of the Spirit, Lord, patience. Kindness, endurance, long suffering, Lord, temperance, Lord. Fill us afresh. Fill us afresh. We want to be we filled afresh by your Spirit, Lord. Baptize us even more, Lord. The same anointing, the same power that touched the, 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 the uh, disciples on the day of Pentecost, Lord. We believe that that same power is upon us today as a church. So we ask, Lord, that you empower us with us. And I, I want to even go deeper right now, Lord, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And we believe, Lord God, that you will make us overcomers. Know that we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. We are more than conquerors. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. Oh, we give you thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give you thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyone here uh, expecting your healing power, your healing touch, Lord? Hallelujah. You're the God that heals. Thank you, Jehovah Rapha. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Lord, you mean your strength, Lord. You are strength. Increase our faith. As the disciple says, increase our faith. Mm, help us to wait as well. I know I'll say, we want answers to prayer now, 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 now. Instant, instant coffee, as a one minister says. And leave sight away, it's instant. Instant this, instant that. But Lord, help us to wait. Amen. Patiently and expectantly. Amen. Knowing that you started a good work. Amen. We'll perform it. Amen. Help us to wait. Anyone that, that this is a very important prayer for anyone in our families who are yet to know you, our friends, anyone that we have in mind that is yet to know your salvation. Lord God, we pray for friends and families who need to know your salvation. Thank you, Jesus. 